What's up guys? Nick from Nick Reptile Heil World here with Allison, my uh, photographer and videographer. I'm also here with Zelda, my little baby. Um, kind of wanted to do a little uh, vlog for you guys, kind of get a little more personal with you guys and uh, tell you guys what's going on. Um, so let's, let's uh, start from the beginning, I guess. Um, for, the, for those of you that don't know, I used to be in the Marine Corps for about five years. Um, I was in the Marine Corps Infantry as a rifleman, and uh, towards the end of my enlistment, I had been involved in an accident. Um, wrong place, wrong time, stupid decisions. Um, I got burnt really badly. Um, I got, you know, some, some third and fourth degree burns on the right flank of my upper body. And uh, from there, I rehabbed in the military and got out and uh, when I got out it was March of 2020 so obviously that was when COVID got really bad and uh, I was stuck home with my parents for almost a year before I finally got out I went found a place found an apartment in uh, Dover New Hampshire and uh, once I got that apartment, I uh, got my first pet reptile in, I don't even know how long, because my childhood I used to have uh, different, uh, different geckos. Uh, my family, we bred together a couple of, uh, what were they called? Oh, African fat tails, my bad. Um, so we had African fat tails ever since I was a kid, and uh, this is a busy, busy road. Is it still recording? Yes. This is a busy, busy road, so I apologize for the noise because I'm definitely probably not going to edit this. Anyways, um, so I got my first reptile for myself, um, and that was Newt, my leopard gecko that I have still currently um, she wasn't like anything crazy just regular max snow leopard gecko that I got from a pet store I uh, actually got it from Petco um, and then honestly from there I uh, I started to get more and more animals you know I I branched out I, I I started with leopard geckos and then I had ended up getting some tree frogs because you know, I did I did a lot of research and I was looking on YouTube at different videos. I found uh, Clint Clint Laidlaw. Um, I found his channel Clint's Reptiles, and he talks about the white tree frogs. And I saw that video and I was like, I need this frog because ever since I was a kid, I've been I've been a herber. Um, I've gone out to the pond that was at my family's original home and I used to just every day go out there try to catch frogs try to see turtles try to see how close I could get to them before they try to scurry away into the water um, stuff like that so from a young age I've just been obsessed and uh, I ended up getting uh, a white street frog from Josh's frogs and honestly from there it was kind of a done deal for me I just kept on getting more and more reptiles you know I wanted to, to breed reptiles kind of like my uh, my mother did when I was young and I wanted to be able to experience the uh, all the natural behaviors of each animal especially since they're animals that aren't native to the US obviously and it's just I don't know I think it's intriguing I just I think it's awesome I love it I love seeing animals I love looking at their natural behaviors and so I kind of decided I wanted to pursue uh, a career um, in the reptile industry I guess you could say um, so I was at the time uh, let's kind of rewind November of 2020 I uh, was hired by the Sanford Fire Department in Sanford, Maine, and 
I did that for about a year and decided, you know, with my mental health and uh, my injuries and, uh, and how my body is now, it just wasn't a job for me. You know, I, I, I watched Chandler from Chandler Ocean Wildlife. Uh, he talks about it himself, um, how he was, you know, going to school for it, to be a firefighter. And uh, he kind of uh, talks about how he ended up, you know, quitting that job and deciding that he wanted to pursue something in the reptile industry as a career. So, with me being a disabled veteran, um, I do have that income as a way of living. Uh, aside from that, I started up my, my business, my brand, uh, not that long ago. And I've just, I've honestly, like every day, I've researched and I've learned more and more about each animal. And it's, I honestly couldn't see myself doing anything else, you know? And being able to help others who may not know about certain animals or kind of educating people, it's, it's something I'm very passionate about. Um, I love it. I like seeing the, the excitement in others, kind of like how I, you know, I've always been excited about reptiles and amphibians. And uh, yeah, so I kind of want to talk talk a little more about uh, what's going on with with the mixed reptile world right now. Um, so currently, obviously, me being self-employed and not really having a lot of product on the breeding side to be able to distribute to people and give to uh, some beautiful beautiful families and, and great homes. Um, I'm not making a lot of money. Um, I'm not gonna lie. And with the animals and the amount of animals that I have currently, it's just, it's, it's hard. You know, financially, it's, 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 it's a struggle. I'm not gonna lie, because, you know, like everybody in the world, some days it happens and you gotta kinda just pay the price, you know? And that's happened a lot in the past year. And that's been a huge financial burden for me. And... Why are you standing behind me? Um, yeah, so it's been a huge financial burden. Um, currently, I, you know, I am struggling, but I'm getting back to a good spot. Um, my ability to produce, you know, content that you guys would like. Um, my ability to, damn, that was loud. <laughs> my ability to, you know, make these huge, cool enclosures and stuff like that and, and do DIY projects to kind of show you guys what, um, kind of show you guys how to put them together, you know, give you some ideas, give you some inspiration, educate. You know, and as much as I want to do that, I can't right now. Um, currently, I'm working on two enclosures. One is a four by two by two enclosure, and that is going to be uh, for my Aki once he gets a little bit bigger. Uh, don't worry, he's not gonna stay in it forever um, because the other enclosure that I'm making is a walk-in enclosure it's going to be an eight foot by four foot by four foot um well actually eight, eight foot by eight foot by eight foot oh look a tennis ball zelda <laughs> um so it's gonna be eight foot by eight foot by eight foot uh i have all the wood that i re that i need i just don't have the rest of the materials and i cannot afford them currently um, hey, let's go. Let's go that way. It looks like a I'm place. Down this hill. There's a, well, there's a park over there. <laughs> um, so yeah, eight foot by eight foot by eight foot. And what I want to do with it is I want to have one half for Motley, my tegu, my Argentine, black and white tegu. Um, 
because currently well when i lived in the dover house before i moved to uh sanford maine and actually bought my first house and everything um i had him in a like a six foot by four foot by four foot enclosure um and obviously that's not ideal for a grown tegu and he's almost to his complete adult size um so right now he's in a temporary bin but he has free roam in the basement uh, which is also known as the zoo <laughs> um, but i want to make him have one half of the enclosure so i'm giving him an eight foot long by four foot wide by eight foot high um, enclosure and then the other side is going to be eight foot by four foot by four foot but it's going to be split um, either one one enclosure on the top and then one enclosure on the bottom or split halfway in the middle so one enclosure on the left one enclosure on the right um, and I want to kind of make that as a kind of like a, I'd say a final enclosure for my snakes um, I have a lot of snakes that are going to be above eight feet to say the least most all of my animals are arboreal so it is kind of a necessity down the road so i might as well do it now and uh yeah so i just uh and going back to the uh the four by two by two i don't have the uh the amount of money i need to finish it i have the entire enclosure aside from the glass and um what? Oh, there's poop. Um, I don't have all the materials, so it's kind of just kind of like a nice vlog for you guys. Figured you guys like it. Um, let me know what you think. If you want, guys want to hear more vlogs or if you guys are enjoying the content, just let me know. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm Nick, and I'll catch you guys later.